Hello everybody, my name is Crystal from Crystal Designs and today I'm drawing Katara from the Southern Water Tribe from Avatar The Last Airbender. To be specific, from Avatar The Last Airbender Book 1, Chapter 19, because I'm redrawing a sort of a screenshot where Katara is fighting Suko uh, for Aang actually when he's in the Avatar state, in the spirit world. And you can see her water band, and I specifically chose this one because there's water floating around. And I thought it would be funny to have a water pander colored in with watercolor. I know it's a very bad joke, but I like it. So now that uh, I've drawn Katara, let's paint. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that uh, the last two weeks I tried watercoloring. It's not the very first time, but it's been a long time since I actually done that and tried to do that professional. I do that with my hands going like bunnies. <laughs> um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that eventually few days ago I posted something that I was proud enough of to show you and that I was going to do another video using this medium. So that's where Katara came in. Came in. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice today. <laughs> to be honest, uh, watercoloring is not a really new medium to me, but it's new enough that I don't have, uh, how could I say it, enough experience with it to do it regularly. Also because I don't have the patience to wait for the paint to dry. So that's why you will see in this video a lot of, well, lightning, lightning. <laughs> Lighting changes, for example, you can see the sun right here, but in another part uh, it shifted, like here, it shifted or it's gone because it took me two days to do this painting. Because first of all, it took way too long to dry in my opinion, and second, eventually the first day I ran out of daylight. <laughs> so I had to wait for the second day to come and shine and I could start painting again. <clears throat> I must say in the beginning I didn't like where I was going with Katara. For example at this point it looked very flat, uh, didn't have the right colors that I wanted. But I realized that if I could keep going with painting and layer it by layer, waiting it for it to dry and then layer it over with another layer of a watercolor then it would start to look like something that I would like. Now I must say even at the end result I still am not really convinced about Katara's hair color. That's probably the thing I was working on the most of all. Yeah so Multiple times I used uh, different kinds of brown to try and make it darker, but her hair just didn't get the color that I wanted. Now I have to admit something else, and that's for this week I actually had another video planned. Uh, I don't know if you know about the game, but it was a, from Mortal Kombat. It was a battle scene between Scorpion and Sub-Zero. And... I called it get over here. <laughs> and I must say at first the poses that I drew out of my mind I really liked. I liked the poses, I liked the way it was going, the details that I put in I really liked as well. Uh, but then came the clothes and I think the clothes fucked it up the most. <laughs> I really don't like it that the way it is now. So 
I'm going to promise you this. If you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at both at, at, at Crystal Designs, then I promise uh, during this week I will post Get Over Here on both of those mediums. Medias, sorry. And I will let you decide if I should continue with that or not. Because somewhere I, I'm not proud enough to go with it, to go further with it. But on the other hand, maybe it's good to post something that I'm not really that proud of. So maybe at one point you can see me progress with those things. Maybe one day I will redo that picture. But you already know how it went, so hopefully I make a lot of progress so, with these sorts of things. I really would like your opinion on that, if I should continue with that. I also would like to hear your opinion if you want to hear me talk more about art, or if you even want to hear me talk about yeah, my life and other certain things issues that should be addressed uh, leave a comments down below this video so I'll know what for example I can talk about next video that would really help me because as you know I don't know what to say during these videos normally I would talk about yeah the drawing the paintings whatever I do at that point but yeah, it's really hard to keep talking for 10 minutes straight about one thing, uh, especially if you do a lot of outtakes before you have to write one and you still don't really agree on it still. But <clears throat> maybe if I have a topic for next time, I uh, can do a painting also about it, a drawing, and I can talk about that and hopefully you guys will be more engaged uh, in this channel. <laughs> now comes a very fun part in this video. Why? Because I had a little accident. You see that soon. Three, two, one. There it goes. <laughs> I knocked over the stand that was holding the camera with my arm when I uh, tried to use a paint that was a little bit further. And in the process, I knocked my other hand against the table and that hurt it for like another day. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, um, now I put in some more detail and some shadow. I really liked how the painting was turning out. Again, I was still not really happy with her hair color. But then again, I figured it was not going uh, any darker than this. At one point, I even realized that her skin color is a little bit too white than it should be. I'm sorry. I have to admit it. I did whitewashing. I'm very sorry. No. Normally... Yeah, in fact, I was so happy there was a skin color in the box that I didn't realize until the very last moment. She has a darker skin color. <laughs> but then again, it's dark, so maybe that's the reason why she looks a little bit lighter. Bad excuse. So now you see me putting in uh, blobs everywhere. That's the water floating around. And I found a really fun technique with this. With a clean brush and a lot of water, you can create highlights in the little water pieces, drops. And I ran totally nuts on that because that was, to be honest, that was the part of the painting that I liked the most. <clears throat> and at one point I decided, do you know what? I'm going to make more water splashes. How am I going to do that? With a lot of water, a lot of water paint, and my finger. Yeah, my finger. I used the brush to, like you see, tap on my finger and it splashed all around. You even saw me clean off, clean the table because it went everywhere. <laughs> and that was actually really fun. The 
the last process uh, of this drawing, painting, sorry, was really fun for me. So now I'm taking off the pieces of uh, tape that I had it on the table. So you can see my watercolor watermaster Katara of the Southern Water Tribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe and follow me on the other social media. And I will see you next Friday. Goodbye.